Today, after two years of being on the road, we're gonna bring you all of our storage and organizing tips. So, if that's something you're interested in, stick around. You gotta make poop? You probably should try. It sounded like it. Too many boys in my life. It's always poop and farts. Are you trying to stand taller than me? You look like you're I'm like. A stand. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Why Way. Today, we're talking about storage and organizing tips for the RV. Uh, after being on the road for two years, um, and we've kind of been, the process has been, you know, ever revolving and we're always looking for the next best thing to store this or to, you know, make that neater or, you know, anything that we can find that might help us out. It's a small area. When you live in a small, tiny area, if everything doesn't kind of have its own place, things can get messy pretty quick. So yeah. kind of having good organizing and storage capability, which we don't have good storage capability, but making the best of what you have can be pretty important to kind of keep in a neat and clean RV, or at least the best we can. It, we live in it. It doesn't always look like an picture, Instagram picture worthy. No, <laughs> yeah. we are not those people in the Instagram, you know, perfect camper uh, RV posts. No, not us. <laughs> um, so, I get started. Yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just take you around the camper and just show you a few of the things that we've done to just kind of make space, make living in an RV a little bit easier. Yeah. Starting in our room. One of the things that we use in our closets is these little cubes, they're little storage cubes. And um, we've got them, not just in our closet, we've got them all over the house. And anything from clothes to toys, and I guess you'll see that later. Um, yeah, they come in handy. They fold up real easy when we're not using yep. them. And they're just very versatile. Yep. Yep. Uh, something else that we do is to help us, uh, I guess, keep our t-shirts um, organized or we fold them up and we do it this this direction it seems to fill up the drawer space really well and we can stuff a lot of t-shirts in there that <laughs> we use um, the over these over the door hangers and this one we use it every single day and sometimes we have this thing loaded up um, just for our things that we are we grabbing do. and wearing every single day it's nice when you have you know clothes that you want to still wear the next day or some you know shorts or a coat and just kind of quick throw it on there not yeah, have to worry about or, yeah sweatshirt or you know so there's jammy yeah. sometimes we just throw them there those over the door hangers are great the thing we got uh these little lightweight baskets and we just hang them up with some command hooks um we just throw everything in here when i kind of come home wallet watch keys sunglasses it's kind of a nice little catch-all it keeps our dresser top a lot cleaner and while we're talking about these, obviously command hooks is a must for any RVer. You can see we have one here. We have a command hook on the door. We have command hooks in the closet. We pretty much have command hooks everywhere. They're versatile. If we're not using command hooks, we're using command Velcro strips to hang all of our pictures. So just another organizing thing. Definitely look into command hooks. Something else we use are these vacuum bags. Every change of season, we will, well, I should, I guess, springtime, when the weather's gonna stay nice, we take our heavy coats, throw them in one of these bad boys, suck the air out, and you're, you end up with one of these, and we store this under the bed. We also put any extra blankets and bedding in those too, and that's a big lifesaver. So sometimes when we have the comforter, if we're not using it, we just put them in those bags and we store them all under the bed. We're not using our comforter right now. <laughs> yeah, those things are great. I don't know if we'll have a link for this one. I think we got this at Home Goods, but just to get something like this, this is huge. We put all of the dog harnesses in here, dog leash, purse, hats. You know, when you come home, all that stuff we can just throw in here. This thing's great. And if you can't find something like this, this is another great place where command hooks would come in handy for all of this stuff. And right below us is our shoe basket. I know a lot of people always ask, where do you put your shoes? Where do you put your shoes? I've seen some pretty fancy ideas and some, you know, some other ideas that are a little overcomplicated. 
we just kind of like to throw them in this little basket right here by the door. It stays out of the way. We keep all the other shoes in the closet and this is just kind of what we wear for the day. And uh, it just it just works out and, and, and this empties and cleans up real easy too. So that's all we do with the shoes. Let's talk Legos because I know anybody who has a kid has Legos in the RV. <laughs> I've actually seen the question come up on Facebook a few times. How do we store Legos? Well, what we do is we have some of these nice little, pretty convenient actual Lego storage containers, which are pretty cool, but we can only have so many of those. So what we did was we actually went to the dollar store and we have these little Tupperware containers and we actually have all of his Legos color coded from greens to whites to reds. And he has more down below so he actually does a very good job of after he's done playing a day or two when we pick him up he actually takes them apart and actually puts all the colors back where they go um for us he has even more legos down below um we have some of those baskets we were talking about earlier he keeps legos in those baskets so lego head for anybody looking for any of these kind of lego containers we'll put a link down to those below an amazon link and anything else that we talk about today we'll have them in the description below we'll have amazon links for those items so for any of you that homeschool we just go to the dollar store and we've got some of these bins and we just put his books and paper and folders and things in here um now some of the you know some of you probably have some different kind of storage solutions um with different kind of curriculum right now we're pretty easy we're you know we're only doing first grade and stuff like that so we don't have a huge amount of it so this yeah. works for us they come in handy when you just want to pull out the day's lessons and take it where you're going yeah okay. which we do all the time kitchen organization um what we did in the cabinets was we got some of these handy little shelves right here because we had this huge area as you can see you get so much voided space so we bought some of these shelves. It allows us to put stuff underneath, put stuff on top, and you know we have the basic what everybody has, a little foam to keep things from vibrate, vibrating around and, and moving. We have them in here. We have some of those shelves in here. Our pantry's a mess, but hey, whose isn't? We have some of the shelves in the pantry as well. And while we're talking about pantry, this was a huge um, space saver for us finding a place to put all the spices. I believe this was a 30 piece uh, spice, um, spice rack, I guess. You organizer. Could, a spice organizer that we bought on Amazon. And you can break them up, you can have them in a row, you can have them individual, but we put them all on here and they actually close and work perfectly in the door. So this has been a lifesaver for us as far as finding space for all the spices. Next up on the list, some cereal containers. These are nice, they keep things fresher, they just kind of organize the space a little bit better than having all the bags piled in there. We also use other Tupperware containers like this, um, pastas and things like that. They just stack and organize a lot easier. Sugars, flours, um, that's also very helpful. Keeping ants and bugs sometimes out of the food, it's nice to put it in a sealed plastic container and it just um, organizes the pantry better too when you tend to have plastic squares and everything just kind of opened up bags everywhere. So definitely recommend some of these. All right, so for those of you with pets, um, we have two and we need a lot of dog food, but we don't need the whole thing inside the RV. So we got one of these smaller storage containers. We keep the scoop, refill it from a larger bin that we keep in the basement keep it handy and just store it in the bedroom. Uh, and another thing to save space on your counters, we used to have the paper towel holder and that's just another thing to take up counter space. So we got one of the paper towel holders that you can mount on the wall or you can mount it up underneath your cabinet. This one's nice. We also have one of these in the basement to hold my shop towels as well. So those come in handy. All right, something else that we use and um, we've mentioned it before in our tour video, which we will put the link up above, um, is these storage ottomans. And we've got three of them, and we use these, well, I use these <laughs> for my little hobby business, but obviously use whatever you need. 
these are the other two storage ottomans that we have which i am utilizing a space right now working on a project these are a little bigger than that one and so we've got i mean there's plenty of room in these things and yeah they definitely know, come in handy yeah and there's they're comfortable to sit on and actually you know for us um gives us a little bit more space at the table and we do sit here to eat when i don't have my stuff on it <laughs> Hey guys, I thought I'd go ahead and dive into our basement now and just show you a little bit of some of the storage uh, ideas and, and tips that I do down here to try to keep my basement uh, pretty organized. So let's go take a look. In the main compartment here, these have come in real handy. These are stackable, uh, three drawers. They have these little clips to keep them from opening up. And I also get a label maker and uh, usually just kind of label some of the basics that I keep in here, some of the basic tools. Usually I keep the things I really need to use the most often real close here and then I keep all my chemicals as far as all of my lubes and polishes and cleaning equipment and these nice gray containers and they also stack on each other and I'll try to get the link for those on Amazon uh, I'm pretty sure they're on there but I think we actually got those at Lowe's also have paper towel holder up here the same one that we have in the kitchen and I do try to hang all my charging uh, equipment on the wall, as well as if you're gonna carry a <laughs> blower and trimmer, that's another story on why we actually have to carry those with us. And then over here, I have two bigger bins, similar to the ones I just showed you, also just kind of stack on top of each other. I keep my drills and wrenches in here and tool bags and those come in real handy as well. And I will go ahead and take you over to the other side and show you what I do over there. Coming over to the uh, water side station and Nautilus control panel on this side. I actually keep a five gallon bucket with some other buckets and just all my car cleaning, camper cleaning kind of stuff in there. And I can usually just pull that out of the way. This container, this is full of the dog food. So we keep a bunch of the dog food in here and then we transfer it into that smaller container that you saw inside. And I also have three drawers on this side. I also label them with some of the basics that I keep in there. And it's just really handy to have these nice convenient pull in. Nothing shifts, I don't have anything tied down in here. Nothing's ever moved when I'm traveling. Um, I have a few things that I hang up on the wall uh, most of our cords and hoses are always out since we full time, so I usually don't have to hang too much of that stuff. Now, if you don't have a generator like we don't, um, we make pretty good use of this front storage compartment area. Now, you have to be careful when putting stuff in here because we have the hydraulic uh, leveling system, so we have a lot of hoses, um, the hydraulic fluid is in here. Um, a lot of electrical lines and things like that. Uh, driving down the road, you don't want things jostling, moving around and hitting any of that stuff and breaking anything or loosening it up. So let me show you what I did. So basically what we keep in here is a lot of our decorations. This is our Christmas tree. I keep my golf clubs in here with my, my Cookie Monster uh, towel there. And we have one, two, three large bins with all decorations, seasonal stuff. And what I did was, if you can, if I can look in here, you can see I installed these D-rings and I'll put a link down to those below. I have all these D-rings installed into the walls here and then I just gives me the option to just bungee everything in here real tight. So everything gets bungeed down when we're moving along. The golf clubs, the Christmas tree, it all gets bungeed down and obviously that's to protect all of this stuff so that nothing can hit it and you know affect the important things. But that's what we've done. Um, most of the stuff is lightweight. It's easy to get in here. I mean, we can stack three high. I mean, you can see I have a whole golf bag standing up inside there. So it just really comes in handy as long as you strap everything down, put those D-rings in and you're, you're good to go. Now, for those of you who have an electric fireplace, here's a little bonus storage tip that I like to use. You can actually just pop this piece off right here and there's just four screws and all you have to do is take the four screws off and the fireplace just comes right out and you can set it right out. And you would not believe how much room is actually behind here during the great toilet paper scare of 2020. This is I actually kept, I think it was about 80 rolls of toilet paper behind here. Now people and are gonna think you were a toilet, I wasn't toilet a toilet paper, paper hoarders. Nope. You better explain yourself. <laughs> 
I had to get some because we didn't have any. Nobody else had toilet paper. Okay, I don't want to go down this whole story. <laughs> but anyways, yes, I still probably have toilet paper hiding behind here to this day because I haven't been in there in a little while. Now, there is a company, Alliance, that came up with a great idea and they made it so the fireplace actually sits in a drawer and the fireplace comes out on a drawer system and you have all the storage behind it. Um, but hey, if you want a little bonus area to keep maybe some hidden valuables, it's not that hard just to take the, the fireplace right out of there and there's tons, just tons of wasted space behind here. So Yeah, maybe use, the, or use it for storage for the things you don't use every single day. Yeah, it's, it's not something you want to get in and out of every day, but if you got something you maybe use seasonal, it is, it's a really good place to actually put stuff behind there. So. And it doesn't get hot. No, it doesn't get hot back there. Yet. I hope these storage tips have been helpful in some way. Um, if you have something that maybe we haven't thought of, we'd love to hear about it. Yeah, put so, it down below in the comments and let comment. us know exactly if you guys see anything or do anything that you, know, you find handy to store your stuff that we don't know about because we're always open for new ideas. Absolutely. And like I said, it's a evolving process and we're kind of always getting new stuff and getting rid of new stuff and always trying to find tips and tricks to um, lighten the load and make living in the RV easier. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week. Bye.